Formation of entitled septum. Why you want to know that? Only one reason. At this moment. What? I want a PG seat, so I want a good rank, so I have some MCQs, so I have to deal with MCQs. Or dealing with MCQ. Which MCQ we are talking about? This one. What is this? This is JEPMA 2018, this year. This year, JEPMA people have asked what? Let us see what they are asking. They are putting a arrow mark. Arrow mark. What is this arrow mark? Can't see. Can we magnify it? Yes, you can magnify. Tell me what is this? Uh, this is, you have opened the right atrium here. Yeah, anterior wall of right atrium we have opened. So you have, this is a rough clavicleated uh, portion, rough anterior wall of right atrium. Yes, you are looking at a smooth part there. So there is a smooth part now. Yes. Okay. What is this? That is the fossa ovalis. Now, if you say this is the fossa ovalis, what is the question asking? Let us see what the question is asking. But remember, this is fossa ovalis and it will have a margin, thickened margin. And that thickened margin will be called as limbus fossa ovalis. So, there will be a fossa ovalis and a thickened margin limbus fossa ovalis. Who is forming all that? That is what we have to see now. But this is fossa ovalis, remnant of foramen ovale. It's a remnant of foramen ovale in the fetal circulation. This is what we want to discuss now. And what is this? Formation of interactual septum. So what is about that? Understand that at the beginning there is a primitive atrium and, and there is a primitive ventricle. Okay. Are you telling that ventricles are uh, inferior and the atria are superior? Yes. During development. It happens. And what is between the two? It is atrioventricular cushion. And these atrioventricular cushion help in formation of the valves. Which valves? Atrioventricular valve. Atrioventricular means to control the flow of uh, atrium into ventricle. Yes, you need valve. That will be tricuspid valve on the right side and mitral valve on the left side. So tricuspid valve on the right side, mitral valve on the left side. They come from the atrioventricular cushions. Yes, they come from there. Now, as you see, this is a primitive atrium, but it will divide into two. How the primitive atrium will divide into two? You remember there was a septum and name of the septum is according to the location. But first you have to see this is the first septum, primary septum. That's why it is called septum primum. If this is first septum, there is another septum also. Yes, but this is primary septum. Okay, what is it doing? It is going to fuse with the atrioventricular cushion and divide the primitive anterior atria into two parts. There will be a right atrium now and there will be a left atrium. So, telling that this uh, blood flow which is in the fetal circulation which was freely moving will be now blocked. Yes, actually in fetal circulation is a requirement. The blood of the right atrium should uh, directly go to the left atrium. Why? Because it has to bypass the lung. But why the blood has to bypass the lung? Because lungs are immature and they don't need much oxygen which is being provided by mother at this moment. So telling that blood of the right atrium should keep going to left atrium? Yes, it is requirement of fetal circulation. You want to bypass the lung. And why I want to bypass the lung? Because lungs are immature, they don't need much oxygen. We don't want to send oxygen unnecessarily there. So, okay, then we are sending blood of the right atrium to left atrium. Yes, but there's a problem now. What is the problem? This uh, primary septum is... Uh, going to fuse with the AV cushion. So, so how will you send the blood from right atrium to left atrium? Uh, there is a foramen. I will use that. Which foramen? Actually, the blood of the right atrium must go to the left atrium and I will use the foramen which is here. It is called the first foramen or ostium primum or foramen primum. So, this is the first foramen or the ostium primum or the foramen primum. Yes. And uh, what else? If you are talking about the other thing, then you will find that here is the problem. What's what the problem? See, you had to understand that the blood of the right atrium is supposed to go to the left atrium, but this uh, septum is going to fuse, so this uh, foramen is going to become narrow and disappear. What will happen now? You mean to say, I need one more foramen? Yes, and that is second foramen and it is called foramen secundum. So now this uh, first foramen is going to become narrow and uh, 
disappear yes foramen primum is going to disappear and a foramen secundum is going to appear for the passage of the blood through that area yes now see maybe it is foramen secundum or foramen primum both of them are in the same septum which septum that is the septum primum so you are telling that there was a septum primum in which there are two opening first it was the foramen Primum and then the foramen secundum. Yes, and I'm using foramen secundum now. Yes, you are using foramen secundum to send blood of the right atrium to the left atrium. But then there is another problem. What is the another problem? Actually, one more septum is coming now. Where? On the right side of the previous one. So there is right sided septum now, the second septum or septum secundum. Yes, but there's a good thing. It will always have a deficiency. What is the good news here having a deficiency? See, right septum or septum secundum will always have a deficiency. You can use it for, for passing the blood of the right atrium to the left atrium. And what is that deficiency called? It is called foramen ovale. So there is a foramen ovale in the septum secundum which will let pass the blood of the right atrium to the left atrium. Yes, see here. You have to send the blood of right atrium to left atrium. Look at the flow, how it is happening. Blood in the right atrium will first enter the foramen ovale and then it will be following an oblique course to reach the foramen secundum because foramen secundum is more superior. It will follow oblique course to reach the foramen secundum more superior and then drain the blood into left atrium. You mean to say there is some oblique course of uh, blood flow because foramen ovale is inferiorly present? Yes. And foramen secundum is superiorly present? Yes, that is why oblique course. Now you will notice that after birth the left atrium pressure becomes high and the two septa will fuse, closing the two foramina. What happened? Baby was born and left atrium has high pressure now. So, so the two septa will fuse and, and the two foramen will close. Which foramen will close after birth? Do you remember this was the foramen ovale? Yes. It will fuse with the left septum. You mean to say septum primum? Yes. You mean to say it will approximate on the septum primum and close? Yes, it is an opening and that is a septum. So, so you see there is one opening and there is a septum. What is this opening? That is foramen ovale. And what is this left septum? Septum primum. So, they will, the foramen ovale will be approximated on the septum primum and it will close. Like that? Yes. What about the upper foramen? Who is the upper foramen? That is the foramen secundum. Oh, foramen secundum. Fine. This foramen secundum, which is the upper foramen, is going to approximate on this septum. Which septum? See, it is higher, isn't it? It will be approximating on this septum, which is on the right side. Who is on the right side? Septum secundum. And it will close. So, you are telling that... Uh, Upper foramen is foramen secundum, yes, and it is going to get fused with the septum which is on the right side, which is uh, septum secundum, yes, and then close, yes. Okay, so you are trying to say here, this foramen secundum, yeah, is going to approximate to septum secundum, yes, which will close it, right. What is the vestigial remnant of the foramen ovale? The vestigial remnant of the foramen ovale is called fossa ovalis. Fossa ovalis is the remnant of the foramen ovale. And uh, who is forming limbus fossa ovalis? What is limbus fossa ovalis? It is a thickened margin around the fossa ovalis. If it's a limbus fossa ovalis is a thickened margin on the foramen ovale, then I think it is seen from the right sided atrium. Yes, it can be seen from the right sided atrium. Then I think it is on the right sided septum. You mean to say the septum secundum? Yes, correct. The limbus fossa ovalis is on the right side of the interatrial septum and it is coming from the septum secundum. Now another question comes, it is asking, what do you see at the floor of the fossa ovalis? What I see at the floor of the fossa ovalis? I will see the left septum and who is the left septum? The left septum is the septum primum. Yes, that is correct. Let us look at this view again. So the question is asking, what do you see at the floor of the fossa ovalis? You say, floor of the fossa ovalis, I will see a septum which is on the 
left side and we will call it as the septum primum. Yes, that is the point. Now, as you move further, you will find that this is the diagram which we are supposed to draw. What is this diagram? The final diagram which you have seen, let us draw. Okay, the final diagram we have to draw? Yes. Fine. What is this? This is the primitive atrium. And what is the primitive atrium having? It is having a septum which is uh, actually having a deficiency and then it is coming down. Uh, are you talking about the upper foramen here? Yes. Actually, this is septum primum and having the foramen secundum. Oh, this is the septum primum and having the foramen secundum. Yes, it is the left sided septum. Then what about the right sided septum? If you're talking about the right sided septum, you'll see that it was having one uh, deficiency here. Uh, foramen ovale. Yes, foramen ovale. That is the foramen ovale which is present in the septum secundum, which is actually on the right side. So, telling that this is the right sided septum, which is septum secundum, having a deficiency for an ovale. Yes. And what happens after baby is born? As the baby is born, you see this is right atrium, that is the left atrium. And uh, before the baby is born, there was some blood flow obliquely. How the blood was flowing obliquely? You see, this blood, which is the right atrium, will enter the for a whale in the fetal circulation and then then it is forming oblique course and going to enter the foramen secundum in the fetal circulation and then then will come to the left atrium so blood was uh, basically in the right atrium first yes it was in right atrium then going to the foramen ovale obliquely entering the foramen secundum and to the left atrium and what will happen after birth after birth you'll find left atrial pressure is high. So it will lead to fusion of the two septa. You mean to say if septum primum will fuse with the septum secundum now? Yes. And the flow will stop? Yes, the flow has to stop because there's no space for the blood to go. So after birth, left atrium pressure is high and the two septa will fuse and this blood flow will stop. Yes. Can you tell me how the foramina are closed? Which foramina? This is foramen ovale. How it will close? I think this foramen ovale will be approximating to the left septum. Yes, that is how it closes. The foramen ovale is uh, approximated on the left septum, which is septum primum and close. How the foramen secundum will close? Foramen secundum, I think it will be higher in level and it is uh, fusing with the right septum, which is called the septum secundum. Yes, correct. It is the foramen secundum, which will fuse with the septum secundum and then close. And what is the remnant of the foramen ovale called? If you say remnant of the foramen ovale, then I'll call it as fossa ovalis. And you know fossa ovalis, there is a thickened margin now. As you're talking about the fossa ovalis, there's a thickened margin. What about that thickened margin? That thickened margin is called as the limbus fossa ovalis. Yeah, the question is, where do you see the limbus fossa ovalis from? Right atrium, left atrium? If you're talking about the limbus fossa ovalis, I will be seeing it from the right atrium. Yeah, so it is in which septum? Right septum? Yes, septum secundum. This is a question. Limbus fossa ovalis, which is a thicken margin on the fossa ovalis, can be seen from the right atrium, is on the right septum, which is the septum secundum. Now a question comes. It is asking, what do you see at the floor of the fossa ovalis? So what we see at the floor of the fossa ovalis, like that? Yes. I think this septum. Oh, I think the septum which is on the left side. You mean to the septum primum? Yes, correct. If somebody asks you what do you see at the floor of the fossa ovalis, then you have to tell it is the left septum or septum primum. This is one diagram which we are supposed to look at again. What is this? See, this is the septum secundum on the right side and having a deficiency. You mean to say foramen ovale, which will later become fossa ovalis? Yes. And then this is the left sided septum, which is septum primum and uh, fusing with the AV cushion. Yeah, AV cushion, I think this was uh, foramen secundum. Yes, that was the foramen secundum. Now, if you say this is the foramen secundum there, it got fused with the septum secundum to close. Yes, similarly, you can see that there was this foramen 
oval and this foramen oval was uh, fused with this foramen oval was fused with the septum which is on the left side and it is septum primum so this is the orientation yes that is the orientation and understand now there is a thickening where is the thickening on the fossa ovalis and where is the thickening it is seen from the right side so it is on the right side septum or the septum secundum are you talking about this here yeah that is the one Limbus fossa ovalis, yes. Okay, so limbus fossa ovalis is on the right sided approach and it is thickening of the right sided septum. Yeah, there's a question asking what is at the floor of the fossa ovalis? Of course, what is at the floor of the fossa ovalis is something which is on the left side. And who is on the left side? You tell me who is on the left side. It is this septum. Who is this septum? That will be the septum primum. On the left side so that you will see at the floor at the floor this is the orientation once you have the orientation again look at the opened right atrium you have opened the right atrium okay this is the rough trabeculated portion of the right atrium having some pectinate muscle yeah they give that trabeculations roughness so I have opened the right atrium like this yeah and there's a rough entry wall and that is uh, where you have the pectinate muscle the trabeculated portion then where is the smooth portion see this is the opened right atrium yes i can see and this is the interatrial septum interatrial septum means uh, if i take a pin and puncture here then uh, my pin will go to the left atrium Yes, you are in the right atrium, take a pin, puncture the interatrial septum and your pin will go to the left atrium. Left atrium is behind the right atrium, almost. So, left atrium is behind the right atrium almost. Yes, it is like that. Take a pin, puncture the interatrial septum, you will reach there. Oh, this is the region of the interatrial septum? Yes. Okay, what is this? This is for an oval, but it has become fossa valis now. If you say this is foramen ovale, which has become fossa ovalis now, fine. A remnant of foramen ovale, yes. And then it is uh, having a thickening that is called limbus fossa ovalis. It can be seen from the right view of the chamber and uh, is developing in which septum? Right septum. And who is the right septum? That will be the septum secundum. And what if I ask you what is at the floor of the fossa ovalis? If you ask me what is at the floor of the fossa ovalis, then uh, I can see a septum which is on the left side. And who is that septum on the left side? That will be septum primum. So, floor of the fossa ovalis is septum primum on the left side. Yes, that's the orientation. Once you say so, let us look at the question also, which we have seen earlier. This question was asking, where mark? So, now do you know the answer? Marked area, yes. Fossa ovalis, yes. Fossa ovalis. I think it is uh, septum primum, yes. Floor of fossa ovalis is the left septum. That is the septum primum. So, that is your answer. That is correct. Okay, what about the limbus fossa ovalis then? And what about the floor you have told me fine but what about the limbus i have told you limbus also tell me the answer i think limbus can be seen from the left side no right side so it will be right septum yes so septum secundum yes correct if you say limbus it is septum secundum what was the floor floor was septum primum so you mean to say the answer is choice number d yes the answer is choice number d